Hey you guys, it's Bird tonight. We're here with a little update on Colleen Ballinger. What has she been up to? I want to talk about her wanting to open a musical theater camp for children and also some old Miranda Sings tweets that are being discussed. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright you guys, so first things first, let's talk about these old tweets that are going around uh, from Miranda. You know, Miranda, the character where Colleen Ballinger can be extremely hateful and toxic and just throw it behind, oh it's just a character, it's just a bit, you're overreacting, that whole spiel. We've heard it before. That being said, some of the older Miranda Sings tweets have been shared and I will link the Colleen Bellinger subreddit down below in case y'all are on Reddit and you're interested in what's going on with Colleen. They are very consistent and based on what I've seen myself, they stay fair. They don't, um, you know, like pick on her kids or anything like that. So shout out to them. But there are a few tweets that I'm going to read to y'all and all of them have to do with um, incest being joked about, which is absolutely wild and insane to me. I don't think that I've ever thought of that topic and said, hmm, you know what, let's make some jokes and put it out on Twitter so that I can um, get attention in the worst ways possible. Okay, so the first one was posted on October 12th of 2012 and Miranda Sings tweeted, my uncle is taking me trick or treating early in his room. <sighs> why why <laughs> like where do these thoughts come from i've had this kind of thing where i'm like you know where like where do these disturbing thoughts come from when it comes to colleen and her character miranda i personally don't believe and i never will believe that things like inappropriateness with children or um sa or anything along those lines I don't think that those should just be repackaged as jokes and said, oh, ha ha, here it is, this is so funny. I don't find it funny, and some people might call me uptight for that. I'm all good with it. I will wear that badge proudly. Okay, this one is from October 6th of 2012. It's like my uncle says, I tongue is just a third lip. She was putting these out with literal kids and teenagers engaging with her content and she knew her demographic she knew who was showing up to miranda shows she knew who was consuming all of her content on youtube back then she had a business manager from very early on and nobody pumped the brakes not her not her manager not a family member nobody nobody said this is abnormal, it's not funny, so let's go ahead and not do that, and let's also not be creepy and inappropriate towards Adam McIntyre once he enters the picture as a child. Here's another one from August of 2012. She said, when my uncle kissed me goodnight, he left a lot of wet on my cheek. And I'm really sorry for y'all if, if, if part of your history is anything along these lines. I'm sorry that somebody tried to make light of situations like this because it is so extremely unfunny, it makes me nauseous. Here's a few that are collected on one screenshot. Miranda sings, yesterday you said yes about it and she quoted her uncle as saying that. Another one, my uncle just bought me new panties at JCPenney, yeah right. Another one, my uncle just bought me more panties. They are too big, so he is going to keep them. Reading these, like, it really makes my stomach turn because I can't believe that it was not just once or twice or three times. There is an entire catalog of appalling stuff that Miranda Sings or Colleen has said. 
and I realize that those are just usernames. I'm not saying that Miranda is her own person. I know that it is Colleen, but that inappropriate content has been posted on both platforms by Colleen. Okay, another one. I'm so excited for Christmas because I get to sit in Santa's lap and tell him what I want. It reminds me of my uncle. Here's more. She's going off about um, my Tukey. Oh no. Another one. The baby ripped apart my entire Tukey. Freaking brat. Tip of the day. You have to change the underclothes if you don't want a itchy Tukey. I think I've seen these before. On an airplane and a lady's Tukey got too close when she reached for her bag above me. Smells familiar. Here's some more from April of 2012 where she was responding to questions. Someone said, how long was your longest relationship with a guy? Colleen responded, my uncle. I known him my whole life. Another question, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done in front of your uncle? And she replied, peed on accident. Do you have your own bedroom or do you share it with your uncle? She responded, depends on the night. Here's another one from 2012. She said, I've been begging my mom for a pearl necklace forever. I'm going to ask my uncle. He always spoils me more than mom. So there's just an entire collection of these, I don't even want to say immature tweets. It's dark and disgusting and so disturbing. But I don't think that Colleen is somebody who feels bad about things that she's done. Her toxic gossip train is still listed as a video on her channel. She could have approached this situation she should have been able to issue that apology and then allow those people to make up their own mind whether or not they wanted to accept the apology. But instead, we got the ukulele and the victimization that is still going on current day. Any time that Colleen Ballinger has an opportunity to make herself look pitiful and sad and I'm just a you know another girl like I have my own battles Colleen will always jump at the opportunity to make herself look like a victim because she knows that part of her fan base that is still there leaving positive comments watching all the videos engaging with her she knows that those people will feel bad for her but a lot of us are more intelligent than that and we have moved on I just really think the whole thing is embarrassing, it's hurtful, and that's another reason why I've made it a point to talk about this in detail and not just do five or six videos. Because in my personal opinion and the way that I run my channel, this was one of the biggest catastrophes to happen on YouTube, at least during my time making content. I should clarify that and it matters, and she is counting on the people that still follow her and the internet's short-term memory so that she can slither her way back to maybe trying to get to where she was before last summer. I don't know what her plans are, but I will call her out any chance that I get. Because on top of the inappropriate and weird stuff, she's also a child exploiter. And she's used her kids as part of her comeback. And she has overshared and overshared and given them a huge digital footprint already. The other thing that I came across that I would like to share is her announcing this musical theater camp that she wants to do for children. Number one, you have shown that you are not somebody who should be teaching children anything because you've had multiple opportunities to be a good person, have a good platform, not show children inappropriate things, and not engage with your underage fans behind the scenes. And don't embarrass people when they come to your show and go on stage and then belittle them and the entire time make yourself a victim. The vlog that she posted and shared this kind of dream that she has she said, if you've been watching me long enough, 
you know that my ultimate goal, my ultimate dream is to create some sort of theater program or camp or just something for kids. I love theater. So again, I'm going to stand on my opinion that I don't think that Colleen is in the capacity or has the wherewithal or the self-awareness to be able to lead any children because she is a bad example. And we've seen what she does when she has an audience that is made up of kids. She doesn't care. She has little children reaching in her pants to get snacks. So I'm hidden in the snack in the perfect place, literally. And so now, watch this. We're on the date, James. It's really romantic. Oh, we're getting clothes and personal. Oh, but I'm so hungry, James. Hold on, I got a snack. <laughs> Was this in your self-health book? Was this in my self-health book? Was it? Because I brought self-help with me and I was just wondering. Well, shouldn't you know if you've read it? <laughs> I'm just kidding, James. I'm just kidding. I love you. I'm just kidding. So, oh, Do you want a cheese ball? Um, I'd love them. I can't believe I'm reaching in there right now. <laughs> that is not somebody that I would ever, ever, ever trust around my children. But then again, who am I? I'm just someone who has a lot of opinions and I happen to not like or respect Colleen. But either way, that's how I feel about this nonsensical catastrophe of a situation. But I'm going to go ahead and finish out here. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.